Hello Virgo, welcome to your singles reading for July. Please only take what resonates, what makes sense and fits for you with this reading. And of course, what you're willing to claim from this reading. Uh, to those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome. Virgo, let's get right on into this reading. Let's go. What do we have for the single Virgos? Okay, Ten of Cups here. Oh, okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. So, we have the Ten of Cups. And that's just enough. Wow, the Empress. Virgo. There you are. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah, all these fell out. It's perfect. <laughs> the right number of cards, too. So... Virgo, a lot of you may be really worried right now, really stressed out. You have the nine of swords at the bottom here. Very worried, very stressed about what's going on uh, with you right now in regards to love, being single, doing your thing. But listen, there is so much happiness here. You're starting with the Ten of Cups and you're ending with the sun here. Listen, someone is very attracted to you. Someone wants to make you theirs. Someone wants to build a home and have security with you. They're focused on having money. They're focused focused on hustling here. Uh, there's definitely someone that you may be spending a lot of time with, hanging out with. This person loves to be in your energy, even if it's just uh, talking for those of you who are long distance. This person wants to bring this together. They want happiness with you. The person they desire, the person that they feel uh, is just everything that they could want and more. The love between you, how you two love each other, how you two like each other. It can't help but grow into that. That's what's at the end of that rainbow here. <sighs> Beautiful growth because of how you both feel about each other. There's a lot of desire here. This is someone who's really focused on making sure they have what's important here uh, to move forward with you. Ending with that sun, Virgo. This is really good. There's a lot of happiness here. It's like you make someone happy or it's uh, like just talking to you makes them happy. Makes them want to move forward. Makes them want to make you theirs. Wow. All right. Let's get more because that is really beautiful. Let's take a look here. Wow. Talk about wanting to make you theirs. Two of Cups, the Hangman, the Star, and the Prince of Pentacles. Okie dokie here. Wow. My goodness. This person really cares about you. This person truly wants to bring on change here. It's like when they meet you, you are that person, Virgo. <laughs> Not only are you desirable and attractive and loving and kind and sweet, and they love that, but you're really opening this person's world up to so much hope in the future, hope of security, hope of true happiness. This person just wants to connect. This person just wants to be with you, spend more time with you. There's a lot of healing coming in here, okay, for you, for this person, feeling very connected, feeling very happy, very positive here together when you two are hanging around each other, spending time. It's really positive. So full of hope.
This person definitely wants to come forward because they want to be committed to you. Whatever they need to do to make it happen, they want to do it. This is what matters. Being with you, the person they feel is meant for them. The person they feel is right for them. Coming together, connecting together. Offering something stable, happy, secure, and full of hope. Let's see. Let's get more. Let's get more about this person. This person could be a Cancer, could be a Pisces, could be an Aquarius. Let's see. The fool. This person's going to make you laugh a lot. This person is a very uh, go with the flow type person. Uh, relationships are uh, precious to them. They take it serious. They want commitment here. This is someone who may carry a lot, right? Carry a lot with them. A lot of stress, a lot of worries, but still they're very hopeful here. This person will take on a lot to make things happen. This person is very competitive. They might even be a little bit jealous here. <laughs> so when you're hanging out with each other and uh, whatever comes up, whatever it is that you're talking about or whatever, but they just have a little bit, they're going to get really jealous over you because this person's going to really be into you. Like you are theirs. You are the person they want to be with. So yes, this person can be very competitive. They might even like it. They might even like to be like, okay, all right, I got to step up. All right. Got to do what I got to do here because everybody wants that Empress energy. Everyone wants who is desirable, who is beautiful, who is talented, who is loving, who is sweet, who is all of that. Many things who wouldn't. Yeah. So, yeah, this person can have a little jealousy, a little jealous streak here. But this person also is very capable of doing a lot of things to make it happen. Uh, they don't bend. You know what I'm saying? To where they break. They don't snap. They just keep going. Let's get more about this person. See, so, yeah, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Taurus. Let's see. Ooh. A lot of water here. We have Virgo. I feel like this person likes quiet. Uh, this person likes peace. Okay. This might be the type of person, Virgo, that likes to just stay in, watch movies. You know. They're fine with just doing simple things. I don't think this is like a club person, go out party type person this is someone who just wants to relax spend time with you their person that's what matters let's see okay we have capricorn here libra okay the princess of swords okay Yeah, could definitely be dealing with a lot of earth energy here. Um, this person is a hard worker. This person, when they are with someone, again, they're really focused on who they want to be with. Uh, this person is just going to want to make things right with you here and be very smart with how they come about progressing with you. And this is going to progress. This isn't a short term thing. We have the chariot here moving forward. There's a lot of fun here between the two of you when you guys are going out and doing things together. But it's also calming. It's also relaxing. You two are going to communicate a lot and that's how this strength in this connection builds. It's all really about communication here. It's very strong between the two of you. 
And it helps with so much. It helps with the truth. It helps to bring more balance here where it's needed for you and them. What's also important for you and this person, what's on the back of your minds is making sure that if we do go forward with this, we want the same things where it's important. Okay. Cause even if you two are different, it's all about what really is important uh, for you two in the relationship. You both agree on that and want that and are looking into it, learning about it, communicating about it. That's the balance here. That's how you two are working together and really growing and building together, looking into things communicating, moving forward. Beautiful energy here. A lot of fun, a lot of excitement. You also have the three of cups here. Okay. So you guys might really just start off as friends here and just have a good time, really build that up. But then again, it's just so fun. It's so fun and exciting. A lot of happiness, beautiful cards to get here, Virgo. Beautiful cards to have here. Let's get a little more. This person is a team player. They're all about making their person happy. Okay, we have the tower here. Let's get more. All right, so we have the tower. We have the king of cups, king of swords. Okay. There's a lot of changes, okay? And when I say changes, I mean emotionally here. I feel like being with you, Virgo, is really going to open this person up emotionally. Uh, this person may have been through so much and feel like they're carrying so much weight from their past. Not that they're wanting it to affect their future, but this person knows that when they like someone, their heart is on the sleeve. So they have to be really careful here when they make uh, certain choices here that lead to big changes because this person they're gonna they want to do it but they just want to make sure that it's stable right because they don't want to go through more turmoil and chaos this person truly wants to be happy here you both truly want to be happy so i think there's a change here in emotions and how you express and how they express and it might be something that is hard for them to do to a certain extent, but you kind of make them comfortable to do it. There's a lot of communication, uh, deep communication between the two of you talking about all kinds of things, little, big, intense, deep, hard things to talk about. Things that this person may feel very conflicted about opening up about, but they do. And it's all to get on the same page here and to see how you two can work together. What I'm seeing here is you two are going to work together very well. Yeah, Prince of Cups. Uh, this love, this connection, for some of you, this friendship, okay, this person you're dating, how it evolves. It's like the two of you have moved past turmoil, lies, and deception and are transforming with each other. Changing in beautiful ways by just the growth that's happening here. Going for what you want. You. And you going for them. Being committed here. There's a lot that's going to open up emotionally. And it may surprise you, Virgo. And it may also surprise this person. How you two connect emotionally. But I am feeling here it's different for someone to commit to connect that way on that emotional level, Virgo. Okay. It's a big change for this person and it only makes them care about you more. And it only makes that bond much more stronger to where they're like, this is who I want to be with. This is who I want to have a family with. This is where my happiness is at. This is why all that is up here, all through here. So it's really beautiful. 
I love it. Okay, so let's see. Let's get some Oracle cards for a go. Let's see what we got here. The two of you are going to be looking into a lot of options with each other when it comes to moving forward. Making, having a lot of dreams, thoughts, desires, <laughs> speaking about it, daydreaming about it. But what's important here for the both of you is clarity. So it's not an illusion. It's just so much fun and happiness. It's just, there's so many, there's so many things. I want to do this with you. Well, why don't we have this? We should do this. It's, it's, you know what I mean? That kind of energy, that kind of excitement. Okay. Let's see. Learn, let love show you how to learn from each other. Very much so. This is what it's going to be like here. This person is learning how to open up emotionally with you, connecting in certain ways that either they've cut off or it's been really hard to do. There's been a lot of conflict here around this person, okay? A lot of turmoil, a lot of chaos, but a big heart. This person just wants to be smart. They just want to be practical because they don't want things to fall apart again. There's a lot that you two can learn from each other. And it only makes you to respect, care, and want each other more. Okay. That beautiful heart in the middle. Past lives. We reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. You might have had a past life with this person. You've known this person before. Oh, we have love at the bottom as well. Love conquers all. Okay, let's keep going. dreams. It's time to follow your dreams and aspirations. It's like you two have been dreamers for a while now. Things you wanted to do, wanted to get into, wanted to make happen, a lot of choices, a lot of options, but together you're no longer dreaming. You're thinking, you're speaking, communicating, but you guys want to make it happen. Forgive, release any anger, guilt, hurt, and pain it is now time to forgive. Forgiveness is the road to recovery. And moving on and moving forward and putting what's important forward, you. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. Single Virgo and this person. All right, here we go. Disconnected. Okay, so this person, very sweet, very funny, very kind, but very disconnected, Virgo. And I think a lot of you are going to feel that and sense that, you know, and almost kind of feel not sorry. Well, maybe sorry. Sorry in a way for them because you can tell. But it's not intentionally. It's just the things that this person has been through. So again, part of how they handle, how they deal has been disconnected for so long. And this is a part of that learning process uh, for you too. You almost, you really help this person connect in many ways. And it's important. You two are going to have a lot of adventures together. Okay. 
learning, growing, loving, caring. A lot here to connect, a lot here to enjoy, and it's a beautiful adventure together full of lessons but again it's still very sweet and it's still very happy virgo i want to stress that okay making dreams happen here it's time to follow your dreams and your aspirations you two are going to really motivate each other you know like that best friend energy just really close supporting each other being there being present Caring, really caring by actions, not just words. Connecting. Okay? No more disconnect. This person may have a beard. This person could have freckles on their body, on their face. Blonde hair. So what else we have? Blue eyes. Let's do the bottom here. Medium length hair. Okay, this person could also be average weight. You had that as well on the bottom. So let's see. Let's get more about this person, Virgo. Let's get more here. This person admires you. Yeah. Uh, to them, it's like <laughs> having you is um it. it, it it's going to really amaze them because they feel like you can have anybody that you want. You have the options to have anybody you want, but they admire you so much. Uh, they admire you. Uh, it could be for many things, Virgo, but what I'm feeling here, it's your tender side, how you are, how supportive you are, how nurturing you are. But I think this person also sees strength here. All right, because you do help them see and realize certain things that no one has. So they definitely admire you, who you are, what you stand for. Coming in to offer resources and stability. This person's thinking about a lot, wanting to make a lot happen. We have the Chinese Zodiac rat here. Someone intelligent, adaptable, resourceful, quick-witted, charming, artistic, and sociable. Okay, Let's see. We have feminine energy here. At the bottom, we have mirror. And then we also have masculine energy. Okay. Let's see. Let's get some personality cards here. Let's see what we have. We have someone sensitive, tolerant, cooperative. Easy to interact. Their interest, reading, museums, storytelling, health education, history. So this person uh, likes to read. This person is very smart. This person may be in education. Health education. Okay. This person can be reserved, intuitive, sincere, and very easygoing. Going back to that, they like to just be quiet, calm. They're fine with being at home, just eating, just doing nothing, reading, watching a movie, playing video games, whatever it may be. They're very easygoing. All right. This person, again, books, music, uh, spirituality, small social gatherings, small keyword there. <laughs> this person likes art as well. They might like to draw, sketch, whatever it may be. They're, this person likes art. Okay, let's see. All right, someone who can be feisty, a workaholic, can be bossy at times. Sometimes they might seem uncaring, but that's that disconnect, okay? I don't feel it's malicious. It's just they've been this way for so long. But there's transformation here, changes here. Changes in emotion and heart and love and how you express it. How you speak about it. Yeah. All right. Let's see. One more. Okay. Argumentative. Dislikes routines. This person may like to just do whatever, however. Um, can, can be inconsiderate and unfocused. So yeah, this person has certain 
It's like times where when they're on and they're good, they're good, they're going, they're kind, they're generous, they're sweet, they're sensitive, they go they go with the flow. But then at times when they're disconnected, it just seems like they're like, well, hey, like, where are you? Like, what's up? Like, you good? It's just they can seem unfocused. And this may be when they're very stressed or they have a lot of their uh, on their mind. Okay. This person may shut down when there's arguments or confrontation. Let's see. person likes music as well all right let's get more here what about this person they own their own home has an imperfection in their speech has a noticeable facial feature so there's something on their face that's really noticeable to you virgo their first name begins with a vowel will be the one to ask you out this person's very assertive they go for what they want this person can be a vegetarian let's look at the bottom here will come into your life when you least expect it it's going to be a surprise this person may also wear black frequently Okay, let's get more about this person. Let's see here, more about this person. This will lead to marriage. There it is. Beard and mustache, full beard, goatee, manicured. This person definitely has facial hair, Virgo. Yeah, this person wants marriage. They want to get married, but they want it to be right. It's not just going to be with anyone. Well, with you, they'll see it. They'll think it. They'll really think about it. They'll know. It's what they want. They feel comfortable with you. Eye color, brown, light brown, hazel, and dark brown. Okay. I have brown eyes here. This person loves shoes. Sports is a casual dresser. They're really particular about their shoes. Okay. That's their main thing, shoes. This person is ready for love, ready for love that is stable, secure, and leads to marriage. Marriage twice here, Virgo. This person's going to want to marry you. When y'all get to that level, it's definitely going to be talked about. This person means it. One more. Oh, stable again. Balanced, self-love, authentic. This person is sincere with how they feel. You've opened it up. It's like you've opened that flood gate of sensitivity, emotions, love, the heart being out there, being given to you, Virgo. A lot to think about, a lot to dream about. Overwhelming. But this person is seeing clear what they want with you. Okay? Let's get more here. Very stable energy. Love it. All right. Let's see. More about this person. Okay. We have cancer here. Okay. We have twin flame. All right. Let's get more. Gray or white hair. They might have some salt and pepper going on. This person could be bald, Virgo. Ooh, here for lust. This person is, listen, they are definitely going to be lusting after you. It's much more than that here. But again, when you open up those floodgates, there's going to be a lot of that here. A lot of passion here being expressed to you on the bottom. 
green eyes also virgo okay let's see let's look at this relationship here the relationship will be like business love you two getting down to business you two uh building creating your empire together uh very business uh having a business uh mindset the two of you when it comes to how you support when it comes to how you grow when it comes to financial security here making things happen here making money together let's look at the bottom wow abstinence in love a lot of you have felt like you've been waiting for this person for a while they feel like they've been single for a very long time love has been very absent uh but with you it's just you two holding hands working together being happy together making money together enjoying time quietness right that just laid back just this is my person this is our home this is what we do beautiful energy very connected very connected let's see let's get a timing card here At the holidays so there's some type of special occasion here where the two of you are going to get together could be a birthday could be a holiday let's look at the bottom here we have next week something big happening soon look in progress now this is in motion okay let's see let's get a message here for you virgo all right get clear getting clear on what you want what you want to build how you want to move forward if you really want marriage what does your home life look like to you this is what's important because this person wants you this person will be determined uh once you open those floodgates it's important to be clear here because what you want this person will want to make happen uh, I feel like you both want each other happy here. So clarity is very important um, when it comes to uh, what you want, Virgo, and this connection, getting clear, taking time to really think about it, really, really think and be clear here because a lot is going to happen. A lot is going to change when it comes to love, the heart and connecting together and making it happen. So be clear on what you want to happen. Okay. Okay. That's what I got for you, Virgo. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.